All right, thanks for watching. How y'all doing? Uh, just wanted to take a little bit of advantage of this beautiful weather we're having here. And as you can see, my shop's a little full right now. So we're doing an outdoor video. I haven't done an outdoor video in a long time. So it uh, feels good to get out here in the open. What we're featuring on this brand spanking new Ram 2500 is our Thin X LIN series in amber white. We've got four of them mounted in the grill. We're X patterning with a cross in the color from amber to white this particular truck is going on to the rail yards for a very well-known large railway company it's gonna be a maintenance vehicle so it'll be in and out of train yards all over America and uh, this was all spec exactly how they wanted it so we've got a little bit more subdued pattern in the front with the alternating colors we mounted those thin X by using a piece of ABS plastic as a backer and we were able to cover up one of those elongated honeycomb sections and mount the thin X right on the right on the grill worked out very nicely and as you can see with that head-on shot you get a nice pop of both colors alternating there in an X pattern worked out real well now you might notice there uh, in front of the rear front wheel we've got our razor tucked in ever so nicely above the bumper and below the fender in an alternating amber white triple flash we've got this on each side for some front corner warning if you follow my channel and you like watching the Fords you'll see all the time where I put them down in the tow hook bezel of course this truck didn't have factory tow hooks we could have mounted a light where the factory tow hook went but I do like this location right here below the fender because the razor tucks in very nicely there and gives you a real good bright warning right at the front of your truck it's a little bit closer shot of that razor snuggled in there nicely let me spin this thing around and show you the rear so what we've done out back is I've mounted our 28 inch thin X strip on that little lip on the bumper plastic the top of the bumper plastic sits almost vertical there gives you a nice little lip our 12 inch thin X strip or our 28 as pictured will both fit here if you do the 28 it does just slightly go over the license plate and I'll show you a still picture of that in a second but uh, as you can see here we've got them synchronized and we've got them in an alternating to white to amber pattern and if you pay close attention you'll see every segment not only flashes amber but also white so it basically goes white white amber amber white white amber amber but they all have dual color so there's many different patterns in the thin x this is just one of them i hope this illustrates a little bit of the brightness of our thin x light as you can see here this far away we are still steady nice and bright easily viewable and you'll also notice our led haw duo now this particular ram did not have the factory LED lighting so we were able to put the hideaways in the reverse and the marker however if you have factory LED that's going to be a lot more difficult so with this one we we're able to put orange hideaway in the reverse and white hideaway in the signal I just flip-flopped it because I felt like being different I put the white on the bottom uh, and the orange up in the reverse we X patterned it in a quick double flash as you can see and we also put those thin X strips on a steady white I'll show you momentarily here you can see those duos a little bit better rocking in the tail lights and uh, if you're sneaky you can also see that brand new 2020 F 350 platinum tomorrow's job sitting in the shop there next to Altum's great big beast of a box truck make sure you check out the video on that big box truck that was a cool job and here's your real close-up of those amber and white LED HAW duos and as you can see here this is what I mean we center wired these so we could easily synchronize them and you can see they do just cover the plate a tiny bit we chose to mount these with via VHB self adhesive tape and uh, we didn't put the tape on the last little bit so if they did have to slide out the plate they could we also relocated the license plate screws to the edges as you can see there and that was more than enough room to allow us to put the strips across doesn't impede the registration or the expiration date and it allows a 28 inch strip on the back of this truck which is very cool and very bright and as i said we did tie this into steady burn with the white 
As you can see there, we have the full 28 inch strip steady burning in white. We're controlling all this off the aux switches that came factory on this truck. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here in the cab, we've got these fancy Mopar aux switches. We've programmed them to work with or without the key, all optional. You set them all up here. You can set these for momentary. You can set them for battery power or ignition power, all kinds of fun stuff. One and two are left open for future upgrades per the customer. Three is the front, four is the rear, five is the rear flood, six is left open for future per the customer. Thanks again for watching. This is Georgia Wicked Warnings. This truck also received sidesteps, bed liner, and a bunch of other little goodies that I won't include links to because they're custom order. But you will get a link for every item that Wicked stocks that I used on this build, as well as a link for the entire build as a kit with the wire you'll need and the products you'll need. You will still need the expertise to put it together. Thanks for watching Wicked Warnings, where your number one source for construction and emergency strobe lights, LED safety lighting and equipment. Make sure you tune it here first, subscribe, share, and do me a favor, drop a comment, because I got 400 videos and I don't see enough comments. So throw a comment up, talk to me a little bit. I'm lonely over here. Hey, thanks for hanging with me past the six-minute mark, if you're still listening. Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one.